maybe the biggest news out of this NAB 2013 is that we're doing the sensor upgrades from the 5K Epic MX sensor to the Dragon sensor right here in the booth at NAB, which is pretty you're unusual. You can see the actual team in the clean room working and uh, disassembling the Epic cameras, putting the new sensor in, going through all of the, the checking and uh, quality control and burn-in environmental testing, the whole thing. We literally brought the factory and miniature form you know, the big, the big line, and we took it small, and we brought it to NAV, so it's here. 6K resolution. It's more than 40% more resolution than the 5K sensor. It's absolutely massive in terms of its resolution. But you would think, well, with that much resolution, do you sacrifice performance? It's actually the opposite. The sensor is even cleaner than the MX sensor, performs better than the MX sensor. We can rate it higher than the MX sensor, and it has considerably more dynamic range than the MX sensor. So everything gets better, not just the not just the uh, resolution. We can do it with Epics and with Scarlets now. We were working and we thought for a while it was gonna cost too much to do it in a Scarlet body. Um, the upgrade is a little under $10,000, $9,500. So it may, for all Scarlet users, you know, that are in a real budget, it may not be appropriate. But for some, it may be logical. Although I actually think a, a stronger way to do it, we can do two upgrade paths for a Scarlet owner. They can upgrade from a Scarlet to an Epic 5K for that same $9,500, and then when they're ready, go to the 6K Dragon in their Epic, or go from Scarlet to the Dragon sensor, you get the benefits of the Dragon, but not all the high-speed stuff. So I think a lot will actually move to an Epic, and then to a Dragon. But you never know, everyone will be different, you know, with their use case. So as a new product, it's small, so it may not be getting the attention it needs from a marketing standpoint, but I could tell you, it's not small in terms of its impact. Um, it's a new mount that we're building for the Epic and the Scarlet. It can be in PL or Canon. So you replace the traditional mount that you have on the camera with a special electronic mount we call a motion mount. It does electronic ND built into the mount so you don't have to put ND in front of the lens anymore. And it turns the rolling shutter in the Epic, which is very fast already, but into a true global shutter. So if you need to shoot things like strobe lights for a rock concert or lasers or gunshots for an action movie, sometimes you know the muzzle flash is so fast that you miss it. Or if you're doing still and motion work and you want to connect flash, sometimes you don't get it in the right frame, right? So um, that completely cures that problem. You just turn it on and now you have a pure global shutter camera. Meisner module is now very close to shipping and that's all fully functional and running. It's doing the proxy recording to ProRes and DNX or H.264 as well as the RAW simultaneously. Wireless video, wireless audio, wireless timecode all within the box. And then wireless, of course, focus iris zoom control for the lenses, all built into the, to the module. Well, the other big news is that the Red Ray player is now getting, like, basically one week before shipping now. It'll start shipping next week is the plan. Uh, and you see it all running all around the booth. We have five or six 4K monitors all doing their thing. So we're playing 10 megabit 4K cinema level distribution, cinema level images at effectively an internet streaming file off the Red Ray player, which is an advanced set-top box for 4K. Connects to the, all the different major manufacturers 4K displays, which you probably have seen are coming down drastically in price. Exactly what we thought would happen is happening. It's actually happening a little faster than even I thought because uh, the, the displays that we have here are in the twenty dollars to $25,000 range, but both Sony and LG and a couple other manufacturers have announced that they're gonna have offerings in the four dollars to $7,000 range for home 4K delivery. And there's consumers, but there's also digital signage. It's a very important market for digital signage for like the living movie posters and um, you know things in, in malls and shopping centers and big trade show displays. I think it's great that the entire industry is realizing that HD cameras are a foregone conclusion, game over. That 4K and beyond is where things are really going to be for the future and for today. And the fact that there's a number of different price points, a number of different deliverables, a number of different quality targets that you know they're hitting is fine, is great for the industry. People want choice, people want to look at different brands, they want to, every camera is going to have its strengths and its weaknesses. And the more players in the market, the more is validated what we've been presenting to the market for so long. So HD is over. You know, all the things everyone was saying, no, no, HD is really, nobody needs more than HD and we're the only company in the world saying, I don't think so. I think you need to really think beyond, beyond HD and what that really means to cinema as well as home. And everybody was kind of laughing at us, going, oh, those red guys are crazy. It's never gonna happen. Well, it's happening.